Ladies and gentlemen, this is Keith from I Repair Autos, and today we're going to be doing a diagnostic video. And it's a question that was asked by a subscriber, and let me read it for you right now. Blackjack writes, I Repair Autos, hi, my 2006 R350 Mercedes has changed braking behavior diagnostic slash rig test warning light on many mechanics tried but no one can fix it the ABS yellow warning light came on and stayed on after one of the mechanics diagnosed with the diagnostic tester to reset three messages on ABS unavailable ESP unavailable SOS unavailable plus the date and time option is gone from the settings help me Fix it, please. Thanks and good luck. P.S. Where's the location of the yaw center on the on this car? So I'm going to start off by saying that the SOS unavailable has nothing to do with this. So let's just cross that off of the list. Date and time options. Date and time option is gone from the settings. Help me to fix. That's also not part of the issue here. The main part of the issue is that your ABS, ESP, those are unavailable, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet that your cruise control is also inoperative. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to go about diagnosing that, and I may even show you where the yaw sensor is located. But uh, maybe I'll just uh, let's see how much time we have left in the video. So let's get started. Don't forget to like to share and to subscribe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, using my iCar Soft, and this part is available down in the description below, I encourage everybody who has a Mercedes, whether they plan to do any serious repair work or not, to get one of these. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the OK button and we're going to go into diagnose so I'm going to click on the OK button going into the diagnose option choose bends then I'm going to go down to the 164 M class that's what I have gasoline engine left hand steering then I'm going to go down to the ML350 choose that I'm going to choose the automatic Automatic will pull everything into the library for diagnostics and make it available and let that go through. Here I've gone ahead and sped up the camera, but it will go through all of the modules, so let's just wait for that to happen. Okay, now that everything's gone through, we're going to scroll down. All right, so I'm going to go down to the ESP, Electronic Stability uh, Program. I'm going to say OK. And as soon as I did that, it went into this ESP unavailable test. And then it says, Brake Changed Braking Behavior Diagnostic Rig Test. All right, so putting it into this mo mode puts your car into this diagnostic mode. And... If it's stuck into this mode, it means that your mechanic went into this mode and without exiting this mode, he unplugged the scanner and or turned off the engine while it was in this mode. And it's going to stay in this mode. Your ABS light is going to be on, triangle is going to be on. This nasty brake change, braking behavior diagnostic rig test is going to be on. And I've seen many people ask this question in the various forums out there. They want to know how to get this light off. And they always say that it only came on when they ran the diagnostic tool. Now... I'm going to exit out of this mode. I'm going to hold it up. Try the best that I can. Turn some light on in here. I'm going to exit out of this mode. And as I exit out of that mode, you see that 
it turns the test off. If I go back into this mode, it reactivates it. Okay? If you don't exit out properly, you're gonna get some issues. So I'm gonna exit out of this mode, and what the tool does, it turns off that test. All right, it's as simple as that. A lot of people out there having this issue, a lot of shops, Mercedes dealerships get this issue all the time. People trying to do their own diagnostics and they do things uh, to the point of they enter the test mode and they don't exit out properly. So now I unplug my scanner. And with that, I'm gonna turn the engine off and that light is not on. As always, everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. What that does, it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.